So a couple weeks back, I did a video on how there are no such thing as moderates in politics, at least in the U.S. and probably throughout the world for that matter. But at least in the U.S., there definitely is no such thing as moderates. And I'm going to give you a prime example uh, from the Miami Herald as to why moderates make no sense. Uh, so I don't need five minutes. This should probably take two. So Carlos Cabrello, who is the uh, representative for Florida District 26, uh, which is basically southwest Miami-Dade, uh, is running for re-election, and he's running against Debbie Mercosol Powell, whose greatest claim to fame apparently is just having a bunch of friends who are kind of scumbags. Well, the uh, Miami Herald did their endorsements uh, for uh, congressional candidates uh, yesterday, and the powerful almost 100,000 subscribers to, uh, or subscriptions, they're not subscribers, to the Miami Herald and dropping every day in their uh, endorsement. Uh, said that Carlos Cabrello is working for immigration and and has picked fights with his own party and should probably be a Democrat. And with all of that, we're going to support Debbie Mercosol Powell. Yep. See, because it doesn't matter. See, the more a candidate who's on the right moves to the middle or a candidate on the left moves to the right, it does not matter. It, uh, I was appointed better in Mario diaz Bullard, who actually has more conservative opinions. He brought home the bacon, and that's why they endorsed him. And that's fact. That's actually, that quote is actually on his website, um, or at least on his Facebook page. So at the end of the day, moderates mean nothing, right? So instead, instead of somebody who's going to actually be a moderating force for the Republican Party, and especially if the Republicans are in the minority or barely in the majority, they would support somebody who will get absolutely nothing done on all of the issues that they say she will, because in quote, she believes in the, uh, she'll do better in the issues that directly affect South Floridians, not climate change, which again, one of the maybe seven Republicans who actually cares about climate change and says that it's, you know, man-made and something we should address. Nope. Let's go infect somebody who's never had an elected official, never had any sort of experience. And again, um, kind of a scumbag when it comes to uh, her friends. So uh, like and subscribe, but that's why, again, moderates mean nothing. And that's your quick little South Florida update today.